Pips here, and I'm here with Tip Doubts. Round four tips for a massive week of footy. And I'll tell you what, I wasn't too shabby last week picking six out of the eight games. So you want to tune in because I am the man in the know who knows how to win. And it's as simply like that. Cracking week of footy. Everything's looking nice, hot, and sexy. And I talk about something. If you want to talk about what's hot and sexy, it's all going to be getting hot and sexy on Thursday night. This week, Thursday, the 28th of March, at the Jab of the Hut, kicking off at 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, the Brisbane Lions versus the Collingwood Magpies. You couldn't ask for an absolute ball terror of a game. If I told you at the start of the season, round four, the grand final replay, would be played between two teams that are winless. Yes, the two teams that played over the grand final are winless so far. This is going to be epic. Brisbane have been a shell of themselves. We know how they can be up and down like yo-yos. And I will say, Collingwood, I don't know what is going on there. I was going to use this in the podcast for this week's episode, but I'll chuck it out now. Jeremy Howe was like, Jeremy, I've got no idea. Darcy Moore is completely Darcy-less. And Big Mason Cox, well, he's just turning into Big Mason Flaccid. That is how bad the Pies are traveling. And I'm predicting, yes, I'm saying this right now, Pie supporters, you're not going to like me when I say this, but I'm predicting you to be 0-4 and four after this round of football with the Brisbane Lions getting their first win for season 2024. They need to kickstart something. And I will say, and I think everybody is going to say this, if you lose this weekend, Collingwood, your finals chances are in the bin. So I can't wait to see how this game rolls out. I just think Brisbane at home, they virtually were unbeatable last year. They threw it a go against Carlton in round one or round zero. But we know how that one went, and I think that they will turn around and win this one. All righty. Let's have a look at the next round of footy. Round three of the AFL season is the Fremantle Dockers versus the Adelaide Crows. Australian Western time at 4.20 p.m. Friday, the 29th of March. I will say this, ladies and gentlemen, Fremantle have surprised a hell of a lot of us. They were great against Brisbane. Last week for the first half, they were atrocious against North, and I'll get on the North a little bit later on. And Adelaide, they're just poo. They are just poo. They've got a brilliant forward line, and they just do not know how to play football at the moment. And I've got to say, I think Fremantle will go 3-0. and zero. When I look at my premiership team from 2021, if there's one person I would love to have back on the park running around for the Ds, it's got to be the big boy, Lukey Jackson, because he was B-O-G by the length of the Flemington Strait on the weekend, and he's just getting better and better. I don't know how they're going to fit Sean Darcy back into that team when he gets fit and firing, but Fremantle will definitely win this one. Adelaide, I just I just can't see them winning. They, they, they've shown me nothing so far this season to make me go they are a threat, and so I'm simply going to say that it will be Fremantle getting their third win and surprising everybody so far this year. And I'll also go as far as saying, uh, Justin Longmuir, that extra one year, looking very nice at the moment. All right. The Good Friday game. The game for the kids at Marvell Stadium. The big clash, as it's now known as North Melbourne versus the Carlton Blues. Friday, 29th of March, 4.20 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Carlton have had the week off. We know what they've done in the first couple of weeks. They've been brilliant. North Melbourne were pretty good for the first half last week, but they're just young. They don't have a back line. And until they get someone to replace Ben McKay, they're going to find it really, really difficult to stop run-ons like they did last week against Fremantle. So I'm going to go with the Carlton with this one. Just the two prongs, Harry and Charlie, is going to be too good in the guts there. Um, it's going to be interesting to sort of see how the, the Carlton back line, without Weedy Ring, are going to stack up against Larky, Zerha. Uh, Simkin down there as well to Eddie Ford, best name in footy. Um, but I just think that they're going to be too strong. It's going to be a great little uh, fight between the two midfields. I just want North to make it a contest at least for a half to three quarters. And I just think Carlton will run away with this. But if they're playing at the home decks of both clubs, 
and we know that should be a fast flowing game of footy and with those two teams it's going to be an absolute cork so i'm taking carlton tip this one probably about four or five goals it could be a little bit more uh but i think it'll be tight for approximately two to three quarters if north decide to come out like they did last week against Fremantle. rightio talk about the edge versus the halo it is essendon versus st kilda saturday 30th of march 4 20 p.m at marvel stadium on the saturday afternoon Essendon, they showed a bit of edge against the Swans on the weekend, but edge does not get you wins, and they need to get those runs on the board. St Kilda, they are going to win this one, and they're going to win it quite easily. They are probably playing the best football besides Sydney and GWS at the moment. They are playing a cannibal, hard defensive football, but then they run in the opposite direction. Um, Snag Ziggins is having a fantastic year as well too. How good's Mitchie Owens, uh, Windhager, um, Wingenang, Malera, just, if they've got just goodness, graciousness in the middle, their back line, just, uh, Sinclair, he just doesn't, he's cut his mullet. Uh, and I think he should bring that back and that would make a hell of a lot more of a difference, but they are just looking really nice. Um, up the forward line side of things. They're just looking great across the field. They're covering the, the ground really, really well. And you can see that they've got another preseason under Ross line. Essendon, once again, y- you want to believe, but I need to see it. Uh, lost to Hawthorne. Sorry, beat Hawthorne just by a smidge. Get beaten quite handsomely by Sydney. I can't see them really making a contest because uh, St. Kilda love playing at Marvel and they should win this by five or six goals if they play like they have and don't get sucked in the bull crap that um, Esther might do with their edge tactics, if you know what I mean. All right, this is the uh, the Lace Out Shield. It is the, Byr- it is the uh, Byron Pickett Cup, as we would say. Port Adelaide versus the Ds. J-Dog versus Peps. Saturday, March 37 p.m. Uh, Adelaide time at the Adelaide Oval. We know that Stephen May is not going to be playing. Fractured rib, bit of a crack in the back. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if Jake Lever does not play either. Tomlinson will come in. McDonald can drop down back. Uh, Petty can go down back as well too because we've still got Ben Brown down the forward line. Midfield is humming along nicely. They're getting the ball in there quick. Petrarca's back to his old old self. Oliver gets another run into his legs. Sparrow played a very good game. Neil Bullen played a great game last week as too. So they're getting that roundness and they're moving the ball a lot faster, not directly going down the lines. Um, and their defense is holding up pretty well. I know it's going to be a bit of a shift with the two big guys not down there potentially this week. Uh, and especially when you've got people like uh, Marshall Dixon and Finn Lason, it is going to be a challenge for the Melbourne backs. But I also think it's going to be a bit of a challenge for the Port Adelaide backs on the Ds as well too. But don't forget, when you've got people like, we've got Rosie running through there, Wines is looking magnificent, Boke is looking pretty good as well too, Butters as well. There's a lot to like. I'm, p- I'm tipping Port Adelaide uh, by under a goal. And I think this is going to be won by, and when you when I say this, you, you'll know what I mean. It'll be won by the back lines. Whoever can hold out the other back line, I think will be able to um, stop this one. So I, I do think Melbourne small forwards look pretty good at the moment, but I just think maybe the loss of May and Lever might be too much of a gap to cover especially against a cracking Port Adelaide team. So I'm going by less than a goal. All right, moving on to Sunday. Western Bulldogs versus the Wet Toast Eagles. We'll just move on really quickly. Harley Reid is a gun. That's it. West Coast of Pooh. Mm. Western Bulldogs, great to get a win against the Gold Coast Suns last week. They deserved it. Uh, they played some pretty good football. Um Good to see the little fella. Um, and I forgot his name, you know, but the number six with the number three um, with the Waitman, Cody Waitman kicking a bag of six. Fantastic. Bolt looked awesome. Liber looked awesome. Uh, so, yeah, really, really looking forward to seeing them win. They'll win quite easily. It's going to be at the Marvel Stadium, 10 goals. I reckon this one could be a 10 goaler. Uh, I think the Western Bulldogs have one in them. And Aaron Norton is, he has to fire because he hasn't really pulled the trigger in the last couple of weeks. He is due for a big game, and I reckon this could be it. And Sam Darcy, my goodness gracious me, does he look the goods as well. He is mm, 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 mm. All right, Richmond versus Sydney, MCG, 4 p.m. on Easter Sunday as well. Um, Sydney put up a pretty good fight against Port Adelaide last weekend, uh, but I just think that Sydney are going to be way too strong across the board, from back line to midfield to their forward line. Everything is just running well. James Jordan and Grundy have just stepped in perfectly. 
Heaney, will he get off? Won't he get off? Well, we'll know if he's playing on the weekend. Uh, when you've got when you've got Warner, you've got Papley, you've got McLean, you've got Haywood, you've got uh, my Mr. Dreadlocks himself. I've gone blank. Uh, you've got Logan McDonald running down there. They're just going to be too strong. You've even got the Lizard running off halfback. Richmond won't be able to uh, stop that whatsoever. Uh, and this is going to be probably an eight to 10 goal, I reckon. If Sydney do what they're supposed to do in terms of grinding teams down, I just think that with the amount of injuries that Richmond have at the moment, they should break away and and stream uh, stream away with this one quite quickly. And like I said, I said, eight to 10 goals, this one could be. Could get very, very ugly. Last game of the weekend, the traditional Easter Monday game, 3.20 p.m. at the House of Footy, the MCG Hawthorne versus Geelong. Uh, Hawks are pretty average. They tried something different against the Ds on the weekend. Didn't work. Geelong, they went over. They went over. They did the business uh, against Adelaide. Uh, Tom Stewart, absolute gun. Dangerfield won't be there. That's okay. But when you've got Caravan, Hawkins, Clark running through the middle, they've got just so many options. Um, they are going to win this one when they win it hot quite handsomely. I don't think it's going to be close. This is going to be probably a five or six goaler at a minimum as well. GWS and Gold Coast, they've got the week off, everybody. So it's only going to be eight games, but they're going to be some cracking games to watch into as well too. So just remember, lace out every Monday night, 8 p.m. We're going to be going live on the Facebook channel, on the YouTube channel. Also remember, like and subscribe. Tell everybody about us because we are pretty good at what we do. We enjoy our footy. We don't take it too seriously. Uh, we look at the lighter side of things, but we love a good debate as well too. And asking karma questions makes you part of the show as well too. So then Peps, sorry, I'm Peps, and that is Tipped Outs. Round three tips for a massive round of footy. Hope your team wins.